So, KBS has decided to step into the world of musical censorship, as if that's what we've been missing from our lives. Honestly, who needs Netflix when you can watch the incredible drama unfold as a major broadcasting station restricts a K-pop superstar from showcasing her talent? Nothing screams I'm relevant, quite like banning mantra at a major broadcast network. Can we say K-drama plot twist? Someone grab the popcorn. It's almost as if KBS believes they have a magical crystal ball revealing the future, foreseeing that if Jenny performed mantra, the universe would implode. I mean, they could be onto something. Maybe holding her back was necessary to prevent galactic chaos. Thanks, KBS. Without you, we could have had another loud persona light up the stage. Instead, we get your interpretation of artistic restraint, or should we say, artistic restraint of pen. Brilliant. Let's take a moment to appreciate the level of overprotectiveness we're witnessing here. If a song like Mantra sends KBS into a frenzy of fear, what will happen if we show a glimpse of actual human emotions through music? Will they make a bumper sticker out of it? No feelings through music, please. May as well be their new motto. Keep those emotions bottled up. KBS is watching. And obviously, they're not ready for our feels. In a world where viral challenges spread like wildfire, here comes KBS proudly waving their censorship banner, saying, not today, creativity. It's almost as if they think they hold the key to preventing the collapse of societal norms. What a noble cause. Who knew keeping the world safe from catchy tunes and epic dance moves was the real mission all along? Watch out, other countries. Who knows what else they'll protect us from next? Happiness? Am I the only one who finds this KBS ban absolutely delightful? I mean, it's like one of those wildly overprotective parents who won't let their kids go to the prom because they insist it's dangerous. You could just hear them saying, no, sweetie, you can't show off your talent. It might be too dazzling for the world. How did we get here? Have we entered the twilight zone where concerts need permission slips? Utterly magnificent, truly. You'd think the music industry might have learned from past censorship fails, but here we are, people. One, artistic expression zero. If punk was born from rebellion against conventions, they definitely didn't get the memo. This band could actually start a new genre. Let's call it K-drama jazz. Smooth tunes, but with censorship hugs wrapped around every note. Such a symphony that it could drive anyone insane. Not that we are hinting. At the end of the day, was this ban on Jenny meant to protect our delicate ears or maybe save us from having too much fun? Who knew that Blackpink could be dangerous? Considering all this drama, how do you feel about this wild slide into absurdity? What's next on KBS's agenda, banning smiles? Are they going to host an anti-happiness seminar? What are your thoughts on this predicament? Should we start a fight against boring broadcasts or just let it roll? Like and subscribe, please.